or event, but still minor events can cause some problems. So just be cautious for the first half of the day with this light snow around. Again, those winds staying out of the southeast, just a little bit breezy, making you feel a little bit cooler, but we eventually will push towards 31 degrees before that day is done and we lose our daylight at 545. Now overnight, quiet, calm, cloudy. 20 degrees is our overnight low. This is kind of the lull that we'll be in until our next system arrives late on Monday into Tuesday, and that's going to bring more impactful snow. There's already winter storm watches and winter storm warnings out on this system as it continues to push in our direction. We don't have anything uh, alerts or advisory wise yet. I wouldn't be shocked if something gets posted uh, here within the next day or so. So we'll keep an eye on it for you, but definitely it is an impactful system. I think higher snow totals are where those watches and warnings are already uh, sitting, but we still can get a pretty decent hit of some snowfall here. So watch this. This is what it looks like. Monday throughout the day, we'll see cloud cover build. This is going to take its sweet time to get here. I think it'll be any time between 4 and 6 o'clock for the snow to move in from south to north. It'll stay with us throughout the overnight hours, and it can be heavy at times. The brunt of our snowfall will be along and south of I-96, with our heaviest totals being around I-94, since you folks will see this snow first and hold on to it the longest. Snow will continue into Tuesday afternoon and even early evening. Again, it's just going to take its sweet time time to exit for us to dry out again. So that means your Tuesday morning commute, I think will be the most challenging by the time you're heading home Tuesday evening. You still can have some impacts, but we'll be slowly starting to recover from this system. So how much snow are we talking? We're going to take a look at two models. They uh, paint a different picture. I think the second one is better. This is our European model. Again, putting the heavier totals south, only pushing some of us to about three, four inches. What I think is a better indication of what can happen is our GFS model. This again puts our heaviest totals around I-94, but gives some of you upwards of five, six, seven inches of snowfall, which I don't think is out of the question. Of course, as you travel towards I-96 and beyond, our snow totals get lighter once you move north. So here's the next couple of days. 32 degrees tomorrow. Again, that snow arriving late in the day, continuing into Tuesday, especially if you live south of I-96. Plan ahead now. Give yourself extra time for your Tuesday morning commute. We'll be here with you. But then Wednesday, brief chance of snow, maybe a flurry or two on Thursday. But Thursday and Friday, we'll start to bring some sunshine back. Temperatures 32 degrees on Friday, 37 then on Saturday with a rain snow mix chance.